Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode number two of I Rate Your End Game Squads for FIFA 20. Taking a look at the squads you guys have grinded towards, crafted towards, put time into the game on the menus, in the gameplay, doing SBCs, trading, everything. The time you have spent in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team this year, what it has culminated to. We're going to take a look at some of those squads, some of those club flexes today in this video. This is again episode number two of this little, uh, I guess you could call it mini series that we are doing. If you want to check out episode number one, that link is going to be in the description as well. Without further ado, let's take a look at another set of squads you guys have submitted to me on Twitter, flexing your end game clubs all right this is my end game club end game team right here as of right now we will see if it changes by the end of this preseason promo as i still am trying to pack a 99 rated team this season uh that's subject to change and that'll be in a separate video but without further ado let's continue through some of these squads this is from uh mr fpl jacket potato what a name he labels this team he sends it to me he says the lads it's been fun end game He's got Baby Eusebio, Middle Cruyff, Prime Mateus, Moments, Zanetti. He's got Summer Heat, Ribery, and Dembele, Prime Blanc, Teo Hernandez, Carvajal, Hall, Diego Carlos, and Per Stegen. This is a very interesting team, man. A lot of Baby and Middle icons in here. We have icons across all ranges. We have Baby, Middle, Prime, and Prime Moments icons represent, represented in this squad. That makes me think this guy had some sick icon pulls. And he's grinded throughout the year with them. I wonder how early he packed this Eusebio, this Cruyff, you know, this Mateus as well. We had the baby icon SBC. That came out like, uh, that was like what, almost Black Friday time frame or in like November or something like that. Uh, so that was a long time ago he could have packed this card. Uh, but that's pretty interesting, bro. Baby Eusebio, baby ice, as they call it. A legendary card in FIFA 20. Again, the summer heat cards like we've talked about really changed the game. A lot of team of the season cards in here as well. You know, team of the season was just a very, it's always a very interesting time because it makes so other many, so many other cards on the market lose their value because we have these brand new cards coming onto the game with insane value, insane stats. They're just so cheap. It just changes the whole vibe uh, of the market and of the game. So uh, that is a nice squad there from my man FPL Jacket. This is squad number two from Ranjit. He says, my first year playing foot having started in February and then a few weeks into it, I sent full sent every high-rated player into my squad into random SBCs, thinking that my players don't vanish from the club forever after submitting them. Got you. So we didn't know how SBCs work. This guy was brand new to foot, man. Brand new to foot. All untradeable, he says, except for KDB 99 rated. Uh, he has got a moments Butra, moments Essien, Firmino Summer Heat, Red Ramos, first owner. 99 rated Van Dyke, GG's, Richarlison as well, Hendo, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Ter Stegen as well. I just think, like, this is a crazy story right here. This guy started playing his first ever FIFA Ultimate Team in February, right? So basically, what happened is, I don't know if this is the situation, but this is probably what happened with a lot of people this year, right? COVID hit, you know, the coronavirus came. And, you know, a lot of us were at home, we didn't have as much uh, stuff to do. A lot of people, picked up video games. And this might have been somebody who picked up a video game for the first time and started FIFA Ultimate Team and learned how to play the game, dove into it, and this is what he ended up with. I think it's crazy every year in FIFA for the people that start their Ultimate Teams towards the end of the year, what they're able to turn out with. Because this type of squad right here, you might have thought this guy had been playing for the entire year. This guy started in February, which is when a lot of people are totally done with this game. Some people are done with FIFA, by team of the year this guy wasn't even getting started during team of the year i think that's incredible ggs on the grind and just that's just a testament to how easy you can build up a squad like this um in the latter stages of the game just starting from scratch rtg account uh at the end of the game i think that's pretty dope g freaking g's man that is a really nice squad for starting in february honestly i'm blown away at how nice of a squad you have even from starting in February. GG's, man. G freaking G's. Another first year playing foot, no money spent. And again, look at the progress you can make towards the end of the year with a with being a first year FIFA Ultimate Team player. Check this out. 99 award winner KDB, Dembele, player moments hazard, 
Team of the season, DeYoung. Team of the year, Lionel Messi possibly transferring. We don't know as of right now. 96 Aguero team of the season. And again, another La Liga back line. I pointed out in my, my past video about this, the first episode, literally everybody is using La Liga back lines or some form or variation of a Ter Stegen, a Ramos, a Langley, a Varane, Semedo, Mendy. Like La Liga was the... The cards to use this year when it came to defenders, backline, goalkeeper with Ter Stegen being one of the most popular. He also popped a lot from like red player picks. So I have a red Ter Stegen. This guy's got a red Ter Stegen. A lot of people had red Ter Stegens. Very awesome team, bro. First year playing FIFA Ultimate Team. That would motivate me to keep playing if I got a team like that. First year, bro. That's crazy, man. G freaking G's, bro. All right, moving on. Bruno. Ooh, we got some Portuguese goodness up here at the front. Bruno Fernandes objective. Uh, Ronaldo, what's the message here? No no message. Okay. Um, we've got Jao Felix, a prime uh, Makalele. GG. It's a great card. Uh, Tots Dybala, Danilo. And then we have some... Boys, this might be the first squad in both of these videos that we do not have any La Liga players in the back line. No La Liga players in the back line. And we only have one La Liga player in the squad with Chao Felix. Rusillian Summer Heat. Um, we've got Delaney, the upgraded 95 rated David Alaba. Boateng, who's been a GOAT for a lot of people this year. And Prime Lehman. Very interesting choice. He needed the chemistry, though. And there's really not a really, really good version of Neuer. I guess he could go out and get himself the, um, the Man of the Match Neuer, but I believe it's extinct still. Um, and there was an NSPC earlier this year for the flashback, but that's a nice squad, man. I like it. It's different. It's cool. I like the Portuguese trio up. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. Uh, and then of course you got some Syria links and some Bayern links as well. Bundesliga. I dig it, bro. G freaking G's moving on to the next one. Oh yes. Some Tottenham Hotspur representation. Lucas Mora with Hyun Min Sun on the left side. Kante team of the year. Kimmich CDM. 99 Lewandowski, uh, no message from this one either, with Sancho, Hakimi Red, David Alaba, Courtois, Varane, and Mendy. I don't see a lot of Hakimis, that's a GG. Honestly, I'm also surprised that we're not seeing a lot of Jadon Sancho's as well, man. Remember when we had the guaranteed Sancho pack during, what was that? Was that Bundesliga team of the season or like during, um, I forget what it was. It was either during Bundesliga team of the season or during Ultimate team of the season where there were so many people packing that, that Sancho from the guaranteed pack. It was crazy. I think it was Ultimate Tots. They called it the guaranteed Sancho pack because it was just crazy how many Sancho's people were pulling. And then EA had to pull down that SBC and re-up it, and the odds were still crappy. That was a whole mess. But uh, I'm surprised we're not seeing more Sancho's based on all those that we saw this year from that SBC pack. Moving on once again. Is this like the first foot birthday Mbappe that I've seen? That's honestly crazy if it is. And we honestly, I'm honestly surprised, boys. From all the squads that we've looked at, this might be one of the first foot birthday Alan St. Maximins I've seen in a starting 11. That's wild. This is the rat, like three big time rats up here from FIFA 20. Team of the season Neymar, foot birthday Mbappe, Mbappe arguably one of the best cards in the game, best striker in the game. With a Gucci headband, Alan St. Maximum foot birthday, boosted to 5-star, five 5-star. Five what a card. Team of the Year, Kante. Um, Virgil, Trent, Dembele. This might be, in my opinion, one of the most just straight, flat-out meta squads that you could have in foot. I think this is about as meta as it gets. The only thing that wouldn't be super-duper meta is Trent. I don't know how else you would get another right back in there, though. I guess you could run Wambisaka. And you could still be on full chem with Van Dyke uh, because you have uh, Van der Sar in net. But Wambasak is a pretty meta right back. Trent's still good too. But this is a very, very meta, meta, meta team. The foot birthday Mbappe, kind of sweat meta, right? He says not bad for an RTG, I guess. That is a very, very good squad, man. G, freaking Gs. All right, let's keep rolling. Another squad here. Oh, there's the St. Maximin. Now, now they're starting to pop up, boys. St. Maximin, Tots Mbappe, Ribery. Um, 89 for Len Mendy. Interesting. Not the 93. We've got Usman, Prime, Patty Vieira. We've got another Summer Heat, Dava Luiz. I think that's the second one we've seen. And then a Icon Moments, Carlos Alberto. I dig it, man. Icon Moments, Carlos Alberto. Let's go. That's a very nice squad, too. 
Another moment, Vander Saar. Interesting. Seen a lot of these KDBs, though. A lot of you guys, hey, I, I don't understand. I, I do understand is what I'm trying to say. I do understand why a lot of you guys crafted that 99 Kevin De Bruyne SBC, the first ever 99 rated SBC to ever be in FIFA Ultimate Team. G freaking G's. You kind of have to grind after that and do it a as a club flex, right? That's awesome, bro. What a team. Nice squad. Moving on once again, Phil Foden. Phil Foden, Summer Heat Showdown. What gives, bro? That's interesting. Wow, David Silva. Wow, this is an interesting squad, man. This is a very interesting team. This is different, and I like it because it's different, bro. Jao Felix, Bruno Fernandes, and Bernardo Silva, Summer Heat cards right here. I like this little Portuguese situation. We're off chemistry, uh, I guess, on a lot of players themselves, but we're still hitting 100 chemistry as a team. Devridge, Handanovic, um, Robertson, Rashford, David Silva again with his, uh, basically, I think they call it like a, like a player moment, not a player moments. I don't even know what that SBC card design is, but it's end of an era in my mind. It looks a lot like the end of an era cards. Uh, Conte Shapeshifter and Trent as well. Dope team, bro. I like it. I'm guessing you might be somewhat of a city fan. You got three city guys in here, uh, and a Phil Foden. You don't see a lot of Phil Foden's at this stage, right? It was cool when he got upgraded, but I don't think a lot of people actually did Phil Foden because they thought Fabinho was going to win that summer showdown. Still, man, GG, nice squad. Let's move on. All right, here we go. I think we have two to go or three to go. We have got 99 Ronaldo, 97 Benzema. Kubo, man, interesting. That's the first Kubo we've seen today. Uh, a very popular card that came out during the but future stars, and then also got a re-release upgraded item during summer heat. Uh, Modric, prime icon moments, Deco. Summer heat, Lukaku. And then, of course, we have a usual uh, La Liga back line. But this is some interesting stuff going on here, man. 92, Jordan Lukaku left mid. Not upgraded because, of course, the winner of that game, I think that matchup was between Danilo and Lukaku. And, of course... Uh, Danilo and Juventus won, so he went to a 95, and Lukaku stayed at a 92. But I think the card that confuses me the most out of this entire squad is Moments Deco. I'm guessing this guy must be like Portuguese or just a Deco fan, um, or maybe he just needed chemistry for Ronaldo, and that's how we got him. So, hey, man, nice squad. It's different. I like different. GG's, bro. GG's. Speaking of Portuguese, man, look at all these Portuguese lads. Team of the season, Nani, 92, Bruno. Trezeguet, 93. Pulisic, Captain America. Whoa, what? 99 Ronaldo, 99 De Bruyne, 96 Vela. That's interesting. A little MLS link up going on here. Prime, is that middle? Prime Soul Campbell, I think. Prime Desai, uh, Team of the Year, Trent. And then Nick Pope. That's the first Nick Pope I think we've seen through all these squads. That's a fun one. Uh, of course, Nick Pope getting that five-star skill goalkeeper card during foot birthday. And I think this one also might have been uh, five-star skills as well. Uh, very interesting, right? The first ever five-star skiller goalkeeper. But again, Trezeguet is very interesting. Summer Heat and then Captain America Summer Heat as well. Two cool and fun cards that you don't see in a lot of people's teams. So I'm glad that this guy's squad's got it in there. GG's, my man. All right, this is the last one, boys. This is from Tyso Mate. Does he have a message with his squad? He does not. It's just the main team. 700 coins. This guy has full sent his account in FIFA 20. He's got Team of the Year Mbappe, Pogba Summer Heat, uh, Trezeguet. Wow, second Trezeguet in a row, actually. Prime Butragueno. Mohamed Salah Team of the Season. I think that's the first Mohamed Salah Team of the Season we had seen. He's got uh, Alfonso Davies and the upgraded uh, Alaba linked to a Moments Pure Petite. Not Pure Low. Moments Petite. 99 Team of the Year Van Dyke. 95 team of the year Trent and a 97 team of the year uh, Allison. He's got the entire Liverpool back uh, right side here as team of the years, and he has Tots Salah. So that's a very nice looking squad, bro. You don't see a lot of Salahs, honestly. Uh, I think because of the weak foot issues, but that's a fun squad, bro. This Pogba again was a game breaker this year. Uh, tons and tons of people loved him. Uh, you know, for his foot birthday card when that came out, that was crazy overpriced. Pogba honestly didn't have a lot of hype in FIFA 20. Until he got that foot birthday. Uh, and then he got the summer heat card as well. And that just took that hype to another level. They made that SBC so cheap. Like everybody did it. But I just don't think he made the cut for a lot of people's end game teams. Just because he wasn't meta enough. Which is kind of interesting. 
that it was that way. But again, boys, thank you for sending in your teams for these videos. Once again, it was very fun to make these. Very fun to see the squads that you guys have been able to craft, to grind, to trade, and get this year through incredible pack pulls, through SBCs, grinding time on the menus, and objectives. It's fun to see all the hard work come to a culmination and have a squad to flex. Even though the gameplay is very suspect at times and we don't all enjoy it, it's fun to see the card collecting aspect and nature of FIFA Ultimate Team. And it's fun to look back on that and just kind of see what you have accomplished inside of FIFA 20. So if you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.